FTC inauthenticity, defibrillate shock, electricity, race, gender, swap, revise history, why all the layoffs? It's a mystery. Somehow swimsuit equals nudity, too retarded for this community. Break NDA without impunity, get your chocolate monkey pox immunity. DC, MK, Grant, no buffer, Warner Bros can only suffer. RuneScape, Terraria, inject the pronouns, red nose, dyed hair, crusty, the clown. Tism, tantrum, lacking charm. VA, angry, wishing harm. Success, irrelevant, woke, still broke. Alphabet, the punchline to the joke, Lara Croft, but a big chin, no way, queer propaganda, no thanks, not gay, bitch, acting like a real see you next Tuesday, tell me why these niggas keep trying to call it an anime, skewed perception, quite off kilter, worse than their reflection, no filter, open your mouth, all I hear is rap, try not to drool on your helmet straps, oh. nah son, listen, no matter how hard you try, my wallet voters don't buy Got enough games for a whole nother lockdown I'm the kind of freak who come out before sundown Screen red said it's not diverse Grab your tampons and touch your purse Lock the comments and lower the bar Gender mancers gone too far Sector Cyrax now a lady Throw out the bathwater and maybe make a million Love you long time DEI struggles to make a dime Hello beta testers like and subscribe to join over 102,000 noticers. I'll remind you, beta tester, noticing too hard can get you in trouble, so you may want to leave it to Papa Kyle over here. Go ahead and find your way to my wish list so you can judge me or send me a computer as we get prepared for Monkeypox 2 Mega Lockdown Boogaloo. New gender swaps have come down the pipes and we'll get to that, but you'll be elated to know that reviews for Black Myth Wukong have come in and this is a spicy meatball. Mmm, definitely game of the year. But did you know that Screen Rant finds the game not diverse enough? Ooh, my Chinese monkey game. What a shame. It's not about me. It's not about a lady. And not a lady that was born one. But one that became one. With my cock and balls in the bathroom. What are you talking about in here? What are you talking about in here? Just us girls. I'll remind you, beta tester, don't let someone start their corny debate thinking that they're entitled to your time and attention, uh, moving a goalpost, working their straw man that no one's even arguing. Cuck Warren recently posted Valve's game on their heavily and ad space filled newspaper of a website and had the nerve to say, I guess Valve didn't want me playing with my friends when they banned their stupid ass for doing what they told them fucking not to. But between me and you, Beta Sester, he him was clearly upset that Valve's game that shall not be named passed a certain amount of players. And as his bitch-made journalist friends will defend, as far as they're concerned, this is a story now. That's what Paul Tassi of Forbes said. Here's why that's important. 15 to 20,000 players was enough for he him to regard it a story. This is funny to me because Sweet Baby Inc. Detected was described as useless information to Paul Tassi of Forbes, even though they achieved over 400,000 people who found this useful. Over 90,000 people took issue with the censorship of Stellar Blade, a game that went on to make Shift Up CEO a billionaire, that now, along with games like Lies of P and Wukong, and let's not forget First Ascendant with the new hero Haley joining as we reach the end of preseason towards the end of this month into season one. I'm going to include some Inzoi clips here, which is a Sims-like coming up that will have a free character creator towards the end of the month, and you'll begin to see how gaming is being electrified. And now, following these games' success, it is being considered as something to pursue. But Forbes Cock would have a problem with anything that's not queer, seen here very recently equating a swimsuit in First Descendant to nudity. And just like the glorified ruler holders at Digital Foundry who get big mad at crowd pleasers like Hogwarts Legacy, and of course Stellar Blade, Hogwarts Legacy was the best seller of 2023. It's almost as if what these games journalists think doesn't fucking matter. 50,000 were interested in Marvel Rivals when Concord, the dated unbalanced hero shooter, could barely manage to pull 2K players. But if you ask these pussies, it has nothing to do with being the hero shooter game with the robot with pronouns. Millions are registered to play Mecha Break. 
that was pulling numbers before its beta was even open. And by the way, Wukong, the same game some games journals were trying to sabotage, pulled over 85,000 people playing a benchmark test. That is not a beta, that is not a demo, it is a benchmark test. If your feelings didn't matter for Stellar Blade Journos, if it didn't matter for First Descendant, didn't matter for Power World, didn't matter for Hogwarts, why the fuck should it start mattering now? Woke has to lie. Flintlock is not a Souls game, but it's all over its marketing material. Sweet Baby Ink game got a lie. Lara Croft's new big chin masculine incarnation is not an anime, but they know people watch that shit, so they're gonna force that onto their pronoun garbage, focusing on a team of people that probably doesn't even raid tombs because that's so problematic and fucking offensive. Ubisoft is so desperate to score favor that they have to pay for good reviews by exchanging favors <laughs> when they're not backpedaling on the fan fiction they're forcing and claiming is real one day, only to be forced to acknowledge that it's fake the next. What did I say to Brianna Wu and the other desperate for attention people gaslighting, trying to defibrillate their online relevance? But you already know how I feel about Division. Some willfully ignorant losers who are such big tourists that they can't imagine why people are upset about the state of games in the past decade. You know, step over that trash, beta tester. Trash. You continue to vote with your wallet and remember, you didn't do this. They them did this. The most racist I see, the deliberate othering, it comes from the alphabet group that would rob me of my ability to speak and live at the first opportunity. I know racists and proper bigots who'd probably like to fuck me up, but killing me over video game takes? Pretty fucking fragile, right? Demanding reports and brigades from their audiences over a disagreement. Fragility. These people are weak, and humoring them has positioned them to hurt people in the midst of their imminent tantrums that really roll around like clockwork when they don't get their way. The gaming industry right now is a bad Australian breakdancer. There are plenty of people who have never seen breakdancing before or are willing to lie to this loser because... You know, they're the right race or the right gender for them to agree with. However, whatever names they want to call us, we are honest. And we've seen more than one person dance in our entire fucking life. So our experience has granted us standards. Participation is not worthy of the best trophy. Jeff Keighley. Sweet Baby Inc. actor doesn't get to take up three minutes on stage guilt-tripping people before he shows any fucking gameplay when you're hurrying and weaning developers off stage telling them to wrap it up. Journalists have not and will not gain or be in the same universe as respect and their flight or fight with their own filterless reflections is not something anyone intending to profit will allow to mold experiences moving forward. You all tried, and that failed. Learn or get replaced. When YouTubers can speak to their audience better, you suck. When jiggly titty VTubers with voice changers can finally get people interested in the people that would never have dreamed of being interested with the mask off, the problem is you. People hold others, especially online, to standards they do not believe they themselves should have to live up to. Now, of course, after Sweet Baby Inc., we have similar hit detection, uh, gamer sensitivity consultants that are shutting down studios like Volition after their Saints Row reboot abortion. With the Reddit quippy waffle maker, oh, capitalism, am I right, guys, dialogue? And now you're allowing them to force androgyny into things like, and stop me if I'm incorrect, Pokemon Go, to applause. Just kidding, everyone hates this horseshit. Do you think Concord and Dustborn will be pulling numbers? No, because gamers are sick of the forced 
sensitivity in mature experiences, the propaganda and lectures that's uh, supposed to be escape entertainment, the lies deceiving people into unfinished products and purchases, shills with a hand up the butt like the whores they are selling themselves out to the highest bidder and last but certainly not least the token pandering and lazy race and gender swaps that you ignorant greedy creatively bankrupt hacks have the nerve to call diversity larry fink and his trillions had to backpedal on his esg crusade harder than the dumb bitch who thought she could get people to buy a subscription service for a logitech mouse but here you people are sans his trillions which is to say without still trying to force behaviors but you know that's not going to work so you're trying to gaslight but you know that's not as effective anymore so you're begging oh unfortunately the behaviors you've tried to force are nonsensical patterns that even the layman can recognize at a glance and from a mile away 10 years got us now effortlessly clenching fists not not one race or one gender many orientations and creeds have been successfully divided but we unite against you and the irony is we were supposed to be fighting each other so we wouldn't pay attention to the one percent who is very desperately trying to not seem like the one that's getting us to bat butt heads here so dc race swaps like okay dude mortal Kombat, gender swaps we didn't just see that with penguin and mr freeze like jesus christ terraria and runescape years old games injecting mandatory pronouns because they either have or want the overwatch 2 sauce hating easily triggered pussy audience you can call me triggered but it's by how ignorant the people lighting money on fire that are trying to then preach to people that's that's what's really making me go oh you know what I mean? ah, if i were to, if i didn't stop myself scratching my head here i'd really wear a fucking hole in the side of my fucking skull you know what i'm saying you can Listen, I'm going to go. IGN gave Wukong an 8. And I'm going to be very plain with you. They attributed the 8 to bugs that they claimed they couldn't show because they couldn't go this far in their fucking trailer. So the question that you need to ask is, is Wukong buggier than Cyberpunk was at launch? Because IGN gave Cyberpunk a 9. You and I may both be a little shocked at the fact that they gave it an 8, thinking they were definitely wanting to give it a 7 or even a 6, and I think it avoids suspicion considering there's enough light on the fact that they were trying so hard to sabotage this Chinese game in many ways solidifying it for people like me. I'm definitely gonna buy this even if I'm not too eager to play it. I, I find it visually interesting and stunning and I wish them the best and I want competition in the space. I hear there's a uh, Xbox game coming to PlayStation next week. We'll be seeing some of that. But, but I just wanna thank you personally for relieving people who only serve themselves of power. Before I go, I wanna read to you, you know, a little bit of the responses from the gender-swapped Cyrax because it couldn't stop at ugly, hijabbed-up women. It had to go extra sweet, baby. Why would I buy a new character if they're genuinely uncomfortable to look at and listen to? Dang, the game that we had congressional hearings about given into modern audiences. What a time to be alive. This isn't Cyrax, sweet baby ink. Cyrax fatality was so un -Cyrax like WTF? Mortal Kombat has fallen off. I'ma be busy, bruh. About time I move on. Amazing run since 92. So long. Sweet Baby Ink got to y'all too. We don't want this crap. Back in my day, Cyrax and Sector were dudes. What WTF is this crap? Can we get MK11 skins with male voices for Sector and Cyrax? Why did Cyrax get a sex change? Wow, you literally destroy our beloved Cyrax and Sector with DEI and woke elements. Shame on you, Ed. Shame on you. Bring back Mortal Kombat 2011. My God. My God. You know, we, we have 
voice actors for Genshin Impact out here attacking people and knowing not to spell the word die properly because they recognize that wishing harm on somebody else is a bad thing, but it's not going to stop them from saying it. Look at all of this that they said, loser, and you're going to die alone, and I bet a thousand dollars, and oh, you're depressed, and you hate yourself, and you need to get therapy, and all of this stuff, dude. If you think the easily triggered people like this are not making up entire Western gaming studios you unfortunately haven't seen anything yet buckle up as usual the kyle channel does not condone reaching out to any of these people treat everybody like they've got the plague and that they're contagious i just want to showcase to you how some people who are supposed to be professional are willing to get into a fight with a stranger on twitter that could be 14 fucking years old about how much money is in their bank account. Can you imagine if I were stooping to everybody that wanted to call me an incel or tell me to touch grass and I've never seen a woman in their life. I'm going to be whipping out pictures of fucking Dia. I'm going to be showing them how much I earn and all this shit, bro. Who are these people? Man the fuck up. Man up. Cause it's like it's not a space for you and that's why you changing it jesus christ man get a grip you allow yourself to be emotionally available vulnerable your nerves expose a slight breeze takes you people the fuck out you mad the skin color in your chinese game is dark enough Make your own game! Isn't that what they tell us to do? Every time you can't fucking do anything? You're race swapping and gender swapping? Good fucking luck as you circle the goddamn drain! Nobody's buying your shit! And to my patrons and subscribers, I fucking love you. Holy shit, man.